Welcome to the podcast that's been named one of the very best in marketing research. This is Research Business Daily Report, the industry's only daily research video blog. And we're made possible by the exclusive community at the crowdfunding platform, patreon.com slash rbdr. I'm Bob Lederer for more than 25 years, the respected voice in market research. Well, we've reached RBDR episode number 51 in our series, Market Research in the COVID-19 Era. And we're zeroing in today on how to improve the average marketing research firm's everyday marketing and sales efforts. And ready to fill that information and advice void is Steve Henke of Harpeth Media, who happens to spend his business day every day dispensing that kind of counsel. So we're happy to hear what he's got to say, given the panic, frustration, fear, and perhaps several other lesser emotions that are spreading throughout the research community. Steve? Thanks, Bob. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, thanks so much for having me today. This, this current series you're doing is about research in the COVID era. I'd like to take a slightly different tack today and talk about marketing and sales during the COVID era. The big change pre-COVID to now, obviously, is that many of your clients simply don't have the work to send to you. So frankly, no amount of marketing and sales will make projects magically appear. Instead, the focus right now from a marketing and sales perspective should be on building and maintaining awareness so that as things start to get back to normal, it's you and your firm that they think of. Slow clients are an unfortunate reality for many of us right now. So while you've got a little extra time on your hands, it's a good time to work on your business, not just in it. So think about who you sell to and what you sell. Should you expand into new markets or maybe develop some new product offerings? Um, think about your position, your brand in the marketplace. You know, what do you want people to think when they see and hear your name? Once you've thought strategically, then it's time to create a plan to manage your sales and marketing. But don't think long term. Think like a big corporation. Think in terms of quarters, because right now thinking out past 90 days is going to be a little difficult to do. And that plan should do one thing, and that's focus on activity. What are the things that you can do every day, every week, every month? Think about your big clients. Um, all your clients are important, but big clients matter more. So think about creating a key account plan for those three or four or five clients that generate 50, 60, 70% of your revenue. And then on the back end, set up a simple measurement system to track your marketing and sales. If you're going to do something, you need to make sure it's working. And the way to do that is, is to measure it. So now it's time to go execute, right? And there are a ton of low cost, no cost activities you can employ during COVID. But here are a few that, that are proven to work. Uh, get active on LinkedIn and not just connect with people, but, but post and engage frequently. Then write a lot. Uh, show off all that subject matter expertise that you have and craft a series of blogs around those topics that you know best. They can always be repurposed into something else later on, even <laughs> share them with Bob if you want to. Um, and here's almost one that nobody does, which is to reach out and reconnect with former clients and prospects. I promise they're going to want to hear from you. If you haven't already, consider uh, launching a monthly e-newsletter. Don't use it to sell, but to share good information like those blog posts you're gonna write. And finally, just pick up the phone and check in with your current clients. And, and the whole, how are you doing through all of this? Not bend, bender to vendor, but human to human. Bottom line is relationships matter, so keep strengthening yours. The key to any execution is frequency and consistency. One closing comment, um, I believe now is not the time to take a wait and see approach. You have to get out there, you have to be seen in the marketplace, you have to establish that top of mind awareness because if you don't, one of your competitors will. Good luck and thanks again, Bob. There's no secret that the success of this series is totally dependent on you sharing your thoughts and observations about what research is undergoing during this COVID-19 crisis. And you'll be helping us in doing yourself a favor if you email your impressions and feelings to me at rflbob at gmail.com. Your perspectives will be transformed into a video commentary, much like the one that you just viewed. It's an enjoyable experience working with us, and I can tell you that the video output will leave a smile on your face. That's your Research Business Daily Report. It's been made possible by the exclusive community at our crowdfunding platform, 
patreon.com slash rbdr. Now, if you've made it a habit to watch RBDR, well, thank you. And if you find that RBDR is time well spent, well, we hope that you will recommend a video or two here or there to your friends and peers. And we also hope that you'll consider becoming a Patreon supporter of RBDR, which is easy to do. All you need to do is visit patreon.com forward slash RBDR. Have a great research day and a terrific holiday weekend. Now, RBDR is going to extend the July 4th holiday through all of next week, so we will expect to greet you back here on Monday, July the 13th. Until then, please stay safe.